Hey, I'm Steve from Buyers Products. Today we're going over how to install a DTR series dump tarp kit. This also works for our DTT series dump tarp kits with a few small changes that we'll call out. We'll be doing the install today on a dump trailer, but it's the same process if you were to install a system on a dump body. Let's get started. First thing you need to do is determine where you'll install the tarp roller. It should be mounted as far forward as possible so it's out of the way when you're being side loaded, but you also want to make sure it's accessible so you can reach the crank to retract your tarp. Now that you've picked a location, clamp the bearing bracket assemblies to your trailer or dump body. The assembly with the detented lever mounts on the driver's side. Make sure the brackets are aligned both vertically and horizontally by measuring from a common point on each side of the trailer or dump body. Any reference point will work as long as it's the same on both sides. It's also important that the mounting point is high enough to accommodate the tarp when it's rolled up onto the roll bar assembly. Mark the bearing bracket mounting hole locations on each side, then take off the brackets and drill 13 32 inch holes in the four marked locations. Next, attach the bearing brackets using the four 3 8 inch by one inch cap screws, lock washers, and nuts supplied in the hardware kit. Don't fully tighten yet, just hand tighten to hold the brackets in place. With that done, find the inner hex tube and make a pencil mark in the center of the tube's length. Then insert the inner hex tube halfway into the driver's side roll tube assembly and insert the opposite end of the inner hex tube into the passenger side roll tube assembly. Next, measure the distance between the inside of the mounted bearing brackets. If the measurement is less than 81 and 3 quarter inches, the driver and passenger side roll tube assemblies will need to be shortened in equal amount to ensure proper fit. If the measurement is equal to or greater than 81 and 3 quarter inches, no shortening should be required. Separate the roll tubes so the length of the complete roll tube assembly from adapter to adapter is a quarter inch less than the distance between the mounting brackets. Find the pencil mark you made earlier to verify that the inner hex tube is centered inside the outer roll tube assemblies. Then screw each roll tube assembly to the inner hex tube using one one quarter inch by one inch self-drilling and tapping screw. You want the screws two inches from the ends of the outer tubes. Now it's time to slide the complete roll tube assembly into the five inch loop at the end of the tarp. An important thing to note here is to verify that the webbing in the tarp seam will be on the bottom once the tarp is installed. Next remove one of the bearing brackets so you can slide the tarp roll assembly into the remaining bearing. Then slide the shaft into the bracket and attach it to the body. This time you can fully tighten down the bracket. The next step is to center the tarp roll assembly between mounting brackets and tighten the set screws in each bearing race. Now center the roll tube assembly in the tarp. Then, holding the assembly tightly in the end of the pocket, screw it in place with five evenly spaced one quarter inch by one inch self-drilling tapping screws and fender washers. Ensure the screws are centered in the hex tube and that the screws on each end are at least two inches from the end of the roll tube assembly. Also, be careful not to screw into the shaft adapters on either end. Next, assemble the sprocket onto the one inch shaft of the driver's side roll tube assembly. With the detent lever in the open position, slide the sprocket down the shaft until it's tight against the bearing and tighten the set screws. With that done, attach the crank handle assembly to the shaft with a two inch bolt and lock nut. Next, attach the four S-hooks to the two tarp straps. Put the small end of the S-hook through the hole in the strap, 
Then bend it around the strap to permanently attach the hook to the strap. Then attach the straps to the rear corner holes in the tarp. Again, bend the large hooks around the tarp grommets so the straps are permanently attached to the tarp. Now it's time to attach the pull rope assembly to the center grommet at the rear of the tarp. Next, attach the two rope storage hooks to your tailgate if necessary. These wrap the pull rope for storage while the tarp is in use. Mount the hooks horizontally about 15 to 17 inches apart from each other. The hooks can be bolted or welded. Many trailers will already have hooks pre-installed. If yours does, you can skip this step. You can purchase a tension bow, sold separately, to help prevent flapping and keep your tarp in place. For more information on these products, visit buyersproducts.com. Throughout this video, we've been installing a DTR series kit. If you have a DTT series kit, the process is the same, but it will look a little different. Your roll tube will be round instead of hexagonal, and the center piece will be larger than the outer pieces instead of the other way around. Also, your crank assembly will slide through the bearing bracket into the roll tube instead of attaching to the bearing itself. Again, it's the same basic process as covered in this video, but refer to your instruction manual for specifics if you encounter any roadblocks. And that's it. Your DTR series dump tarp kit is installed and ready to use. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the Buyers Products YouTube channel for more videos like this.